enjoy that? What leads you to wanting to, to give back to the people, to give back to the kids who are coming up, whether it's through the foundation or, or like coaching at a professional level? Like, what, why was the, what was that decision? Yeah, well, I, I took a year off um, from football, and I think that was the best thing that I did. Yeah. Um, it was really hard. Um, and, and going through that year, um, I looked into broadcasting and different things. I was like, no, nah, this is not me. I, I can't. <laughs> no, nah, this, ain't, this ain't my deal. The one thing that got me is I, I think I was with the NFL Network, and they were like, yeah, John Madden, we think he's about to pass away. <laughs> and so we're going to do a tribute to him. Yeah. And I'm like, but he's not dead. <laughs> He's not dead yet. And he ended up living, like, he just passed away. Like, this was, like, <laughs> you know, six, seven years ago. Yeah. And so I'm like, this is weird. And we're all, like, talking about our favorite Madden stories about, like. He's, like, in the room. And <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, what are we doing? Yeah. And I was just like, I don't feel comfortable. Like, this is. This is not my world. Yeah, I'm not doing this. Yeah. This is this is fake. This is a fraud deal. This is, like, I am, I'm not about this. Yeah. And so I was like, no, I'm good. And, um, but I think with that year away, you know, being away from the game, I was living in Miami at the time or Fort Lauderdale and, um, Adam Gay said the co taking the coaching job there. So I would go up there and kind of like help out and sure. kind of like get a feel for it and, and everything like that. And, um, you know, still wanted to play, um, you know, I think deep down and stuff, but after a year, nobody calling and all those different things, I, you know, I, I actually uh, went to a Houston Texans game. A um, couple of my good friends, Mike Brabel and, and Larry Izzo, were coaching there. And um, so I went down to hang out and see them. And, and Bill O'Brien was the head coach. And um, I'd kind of mentioned to Mike and Larry that, you know, I'd like to, you know, think about getting into coaching. And they told Bill and, and uh, Billy. You know, I talked to him. He was like, "Let's talk after the season," and ended up, uh, you know, getting on with Houston. Uh, you know, basically being an offensive assistant uh, for two years there, and yeah, and um, did that deal, and that was a grind. And um, you know, you you kind of sit there and you're like, "Okay, this is what I want to do," but it's almost like a rite of passage to get to coach because you're doing all the legwork stuff. And I'm just like it's putting again, right? Putting you're pay, you're yeah. starting all over yeah. again. Going from being a franchise player to, yeah. you know, putting copies in a notebook. Yeah. And about 60 notebooks. And you're just in there organizing it all, getting all and you're just like, what am I doing? Yeah. You know? Um, but I'm glad I did it. And I'm, I'm glad I kind of got through that process. And, and then to where I was able to, I was just like, I just need my own room. I just want to coach my own room. And, and um, you know, got the opportunity in, in San Francisco for these past three years. And, and um, had a pretty know, good run with them, right? Like, it, it, yeah, it, it was really good. Yeah. Really good. Um, got to go to the Super Bowl, you know, that first year. Yeah. Um, we drafted Debo Samuel there in the second round, which was, um, you know, awesome. Um, next year we got Brandon Ayuk and Jawan Jennings, um, and then this past year those three, you know, really propelled us, yeah. you know, to the NFC Championship game, and we're, you know, player two away from going to the Super Bowl.